the family home, traditionally a place of refuge at the end of a long working day. But when the home of your dreams turns into a house of horrors, when spirits move in and try to move you out, it's time then to call on medium Johnny Fiore and specialist house cleanser Ian Lawman, the team from Living With The Dead. How many people can say that they've seen the mother, you know, after they've passed? I gotta get out of this room, I'm sorry. I gotta get out of this room. I get the feeling that somebody was dragged up here. Somebody murdered somebody. Is there anybody here that can hear my voice? I don't want to cause you any harm. Thorpe, a sleepy village nestling in the farmland of the Peak District. Steeped with history, the village dates back beyond the Doomsday Book. Four years ago, Michael and Heather Kelly realized their dream of moving to the countryside and bought a cottage in this quiet hamlet. But ever since, they believe they felt the presence of spirits. I don't necessarily see people, but I know somebody is there. The lights go up and down. The television will go on and off. Objects have been moved. Heather's more in tune with things and she observes things more, where I I tend to just kind of like come up with reasons why it's not possible. At first, Heather believed the spirit encounters she was experiencing to be a blessing. I guess my nicest encounter would have been seeing my mum about three months after she died. We were living in this side of the cottage at the time and I saw this thick white swirling mass. And then my mum just sort of like spun around and just stood there absolutely beaming at me. Heather found the visit from her mother to be reassuring during a time of grief. But the longer they spent at the cottage, the more activity Heather believed she was feeling. And as time's gone on, things have begun to feel unsettling. I just started to get the feeling that somebody was watching me, especially over in this side of the cottage. It's a feeling that started to affect the way Heather leads her life. I just feel so uncomfortable over here. Even if I'm in the kitchen cooking, I don't really step into the dining room unless Mike's with me, and especially past the door. It's a bit of a nuisance at times, but it's just one of those things. That was Rosemary, she's a baby. Look at Kelly. Heather's continuing unease started to make Michael feel increasingly worried for her. Until one day, he was forced to question his skepticism. I was making a cup of tea, and, um, I heard uh, voices, uh, like a group of four, um, opening up the door, going up the steps and into the cottage, and there was nobody here. <laughs> I've got a different opinion of it now. I kind of, I've got more of an open mind, and I, I'm, I'm now thinking, hmm, yes, there's something else. The cottage that has become Heather and Mike's home is known to have been used in past times as a post office, a pub, and even a rectory. When they moved in, they undertook a massive renovation program, totally rebuilding the inside and refurbishing all the rooms. After this work was done, though, the level of spirit activity that Heather sensed started to increase, and it led them to believe that the renovations may have agitated some ancient spirits. It was seen that building work can disturb spirits, particularly if you have a sort of a resident spirit that, that um, can observe the surroundings the way it is at the present time. When one spirit is disturbed, the activity can cause others to sort of become involved in this. Who knows what we might have? After all the work they have put in, for Heather, Thorpe Cottage has now become her dream home, except for the presence of the spirits that she feels are now haunting her. And it's now become so much of a nightmare that they're both considering selling the property they've worked so hard on. We have discussed selling the place. I just feel so uncomfortable here. It seems to be escalating and I just don't want to stay here any longer, really. Coming up, living with the dead medium, Johnny Fiore feels dark echoes from the past. I gotta get out of this room, I'm sorry. I gotta get out of this room. I think that that room has um, a memory. I get the feeling that somebody was dragged up here. 